Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk about context. A context allows you to do three different things. The first one, it allows you to access your application resources. Number two, the context allows you to interact with other application components by sending messages. And third, the context allows you to access your application's environmental information. When I'm talking about uh, the app's environment, it includes but is not limited to the application's private data folder, the asset folder within your Android application, and also the Android system services. We will be using a context in a lot of places and we have already used a lot of methods that belong to this particular class. What you're seeing now is the Java doc of your context class. You can see that the context is an abstract class. And you can also see that under the known indirect subclasses list, we have an activity. That means activity is a concrete implementation of a context, which literally means you can use your activity to access your project resources. You can use your activity to interact with other Android components and also you can use your activity to access the application environment. And now let's review some methods from this context class. Go to methods, click on it. Here are a list of methods. We'll be taking a shallow look at these methods. And as we move down the course, we'll be taking a deeper look at these methods. Let me scroll down. The first method I would like to point out is the delete file method. This method provides you access to the application's private data folder and delete a file that is within your application's environment. Similarly, we have the file list method which returns the list of files within your application's private data folder. And we also have the get assets method which allows you to access your assets folder within your application. There is also a method that is called as get package name, which returns your application's package name, which is indeed an information about your application. You can use the get resources method to get a reference to the resources instance from where you can access all your project resources, such as strings, drawables, animations, arbitrary XML files, etc. We have used the get string method extensively from our activity it gets you the string uh, resource that you specify and we also have the get string method with the format args parameter which allows you to get formatted string resources and one more method i would like to show you is the start activity method which allows you to start an activity these are some of the methods that are really helpful. There are also other methods that, that we will be using, but we'll look into them as we progress down the course. Since a context gives you access to all the resources in your project, you can see that the view class uses context extensively. Let's go back and check out the view class uh, reference. I'm going to search for view. Here it is. And let me check the constructors. You can see the view class has three constructors and all these constructors accept the context as a parameter. That is because a view may have to access resources such as strings, images, animation. And that is why a view always asks, asks for a context parameter. And wherever you see a context parameter, you can actually pass your activity as a context to that method. So in this video, we saw what a context is and how your activity extends the context. We also saw a few methods that will be helpful during our app development. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.